Hi students, if you are new to my channel, I am Divya, I will be teaching 10th class mathematics. I will be uploading videos regularly on my YouTube channel. So please do subscribe to my channel Divya's Maths and do like, comment and share the videos with your friends. Today we will be solving exercise 4.1 question 1 from the chapter pair of linear equations in two variables. So the first question, by comparing the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2, c1 by c2, state whether the lines represented by the following pair of linear equations intersect at a point, are parallel or are coincident. So we need to say that these pair of linear equations intersect at a point or are they parallel or are they coincident, okay? So, if the lines are intersecting, then what is the condition? A1 by A2 is not equals to B1 by B2. Okay. So, if it is coincident lines, if it is coincident lines, then what is the condition? A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C2. Okay, then if it is parallel lines, if it is a parallel lines, then what is the condition? The condition is A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is not equals to C1 by C2. Okay, we need to check whether this equation satisfies which condition. Okay, so the so let us take this equation as equation 1 and this equation as equation 2. Okay, now comparing these two equations with the general form, you will get a1 is equals to 5, b1 is equals to, b1 is equals to minus 4, c1 is equals to 8. And a2 is equals to 7, b2 is equals to 6. And C2 is equals to minus 9. Okay. Now let us quickly find the ratios. That is A1 by A2 is equals to 5 by 7. B1 by B2 is equals to minus 4 by 6. C1 by C2 is equals to 8 by minus 9. Now seeing the ratios we can say that a1 by A2 is not equals to B1 by B2. Right? The ratios of A1 by A2 is not equals to B1 by B2. Correct? So, therefore, we can say that it is a intersecting lines. Okay? So, therefore, we can say that given pair of linear equations are intersecting lines. Okay? So, let us see the next question. So, he has given us the two equations, right? So, let us quickly write the conditions. One is for intersecting lines. The condition for intersecting line is A1 by A2 is not equals to B1 by B2. And the condition for coincident lines. Condition for coincident is a1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C2. And then it is parallel. Condition for parallel is A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is not equals to C1 by C2. Okay. Now, so from these two equations, let us quickly compare them. With the general forms, that is A1 equals to 9, B1 is equals to 3 and C1 is equals to 12. A2 is equals to 18, B2 is equals to 6 and C2 is equals to 24. Now let us find the ratios. A1 by A2 is equals to 9 by 
18 which is 1 by 2. Then B1 by B2. B1 by B2 is equals to 3 by 6 which is also 1 by 2. Then C1 by C2. C1 by C2 is equals to 12 by 24 which is also 1 by 2. So from all the ratios we can say that A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C2. Yes, so it satisfies coincident condition, right? So it satisfies the condition for coincident lines, correct? So therefore, we can say that given pair of equations are coincident lines, okay? Now let us do the last one. Let us quickly write the conditions first. First condition is for the intersecting lines. And what is the condition for the intersecting? A1 by A2 is not equals to B1 by B2. And what is the condition for coincident? Condition for coincident is A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C2. And what is the condition for the parallel lines? Condition for parallel is a1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is not equals to C1 by C2. Okay. And now let us compare these two equations with the general form. So you will get A1 equals to 6. B1 is equals to minus 3. C1 is equals to 10. A2 is equals to 2. B2 is equals to minus 1. C2 is equals to 9. Now let us find the ratios. A1 by A2 is equals to 6 by 2 which is 3. Then B1 by B2 is equals to minus 3 by minus 1 which is also 3. Then C1 by C2 which is 10 by 9. So, see here by seeing the ratios. So, we can say that A1, A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is not equals to C1 by C2. Right? So, this condition is for the parallel lines. Correct? So, therefore, we can say that given pair of linear equations satisfies parallel lines condition. Correct? So, we can say that given pair of equations are parallel.